the Premier League returns from a week's hiatus with a London Derby on Friday night, one where, surprisingly, it is Fulham who have bragging rights over their neighbours. This may not be the fiercest of the Capitals grudge matches, the Cottagers share more enmity with Queen's Park Rangers whilst Chelsea's great rivals lie in the north, but there will be plenty at stake at Stamford Bridge with both teams vying for a European qualification. Graham Potter's side find themselves intent with less than half of their Premier League campaign left to go though a win would vault them above Fulham, currently 7th having played at least a game more than most of those around them, but there is an awful lot of ground to make up in little time. Chelsea will be hoping that their new signings can make all the difference. Here is how you can watch the match and what you need to know Chelsea, the Premier League record signing of Enzo Fernandez will, it is hoped, get Chelsea a foundational midfielder for much of the next decade. If the Argentine fulfills the great promise he showed at the World Cup then £107 million will look a snip, for now however there is the matter of who starts in midfield on Friday night. Mateo Kovacic may have returned to fitness in time but N'Golo Conte and Danis Zakaria are out whilst Jorginho is departed for Arsenal. Whilst Fernandez settles in a great deal of pressure may instead fall on youngster Lewis Hall or Conor Gallagher, who might well have left last month if he had not declined to move to Everton. Further forward Mihailo Mudrik could make his full debut after an impressive cameo against Liverpool a fortnight ago. CBS Sports has the daily soccer podcast for you, covering everything you need to know about the beautiful game. Make sure to give House of Champions a follow for coverage of the biggest games, stories, transfer news with Fabrizio Romano, and everything else going on in the world's most popular sport. Fulham, riding high in 7th. Marco Silva's side have vastly overachieved what might have been expected of them in a season where they were expected to battle against relegation. In part that can be put down to factors that are unlikely to continue, Fulham's opponents have received more red cards than any other side whilst the Cottagers have won more penalties, 